So you felt completely 100% confident no, in Kelly? No question. You know, uh, we, we saw him practice all throughout the course of the week. You know, didn't see any issues. Well, he was ready to go. And, and I think for him, he's got to be in his element to, to be able to go play his best. And he can run the ball and be able to sit back there and throw it. I thought the offensive line did a really, really good job of keeping him clean. You know, the only time he really got touched is when he, when he took off and ran the ball. We didn't have any sacks. And I can't recall of any hits that we got that we got on when we turned the loose. So, you know, when he's out there feeling confident in his protection, knowing that he's, that he's confident in his ankle to be able to pull it down and run, you know, that just makes him a very dynamic guy and hard to stop. How, how important was it for him to be able to play this game and get out there and keep get back to the continuity of the offense and not have to sit out? No question. I mean, he, he, he's a competitor. He wants to play. And everyone took that, that, that performance up at Syracuse personal. So everybody wanted to get back out on the field and play. And that's why I think you saw these guys have a great spirit about themselves, great tempo. You know, but for him, as a, as a young quarterback, he's still trying to you know, create his own identity and, and being the leader of our offense. It's, 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 to be able to come out and, and not just perform the way he did, but perform like those conditions and, and lead his team up and down the field and go early in the, you know, in the first half is really comforting for us. And, and I think it boosts his confidence in this week. How, how, how big was it those first two plays of the game when you got the turnover and two straight passes to Dion and to get the touchdown? How big was that for the team, confidence, Kelly, Dion, all of them? I think it was huge. And for us going in, we knew that uh, based off of, of, of how they played some different teams, that they were going to give us some opportunities to be able to, to, to have run pass options. And they would load in the box early, and they gave us the easy throws. And, and, and big for Dion as well to come back and make a big play. And, you know, especially in the rain, to be able to throw and catch and, and, and then set the tempo for the rest of the game. I think you saw everybody else, you know, just be ignited, and we were able to, to run the football and throw the ball from there on. What about playing faster, 78 plays, Tony? Um, is that something that you think you guys will do more of in the future? Well, we've always – our target is 80, 80 snaps a game, and we've always been a tempo team. And, and uh, you know, I think rhythm has a lot to do with that. And when you can come out and bang, bang, in two plays, you're in the end zone. You know, obviously, and then the defense does a good job of getting the ball back for us and giving us another opportunity. That just, that just you know, makes us harder to defend. So when you can play fast, have misdirection, throw the ball down the field, you know, keep that defense, you know, running side line to sideline and we knew one thing with uh with tech they had some depth on the defensive line but they really didn't play you know many other guys at the linebacker level or in the secondary so we knew if we could drive that snap count we might have an opportunity to wear them down well, when did the decision to go with hunter instead of Sarah? you know that was just coach Sweeney's call uh, obviously i'm up there calling plays and he said hey i just got a feel i want to get hunter in there you know and let him uh, let him operate a little bit see how he handles it and i said yes sir and we're going forward and no questions asked.